Hi, it's been about four years since I've done my last makeup video. I think it's the one that Adam voiced over. Um, and I can't really compete with that. So <laughs> it's taken me about four or five years to actually uh, get back on here. But I just have my phone this time. I don't have any fancy lighting or anything. I have a diaper in the background, a bunch of crap. This is where I throw all of Adam's crap. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit different now, but I just miss filming and editing and I'm getting ready for my hot date tonight with Samuel. He's eight. Um, so I thought I would just film. I just got a tripod for my phone and of course phones are much better nowadays. This is the Smashbox primerizer. I just got a travel size. Um, it's cheaper. <laughs> So I use the Tatcha Silk Canvas for um, just over my uh, areas that I need to fill in for my pores, larger pores. I'm doing this while Abram is watching Mickey Mouse, so he's watching it in uh, German. So it's educational, right? Okay, so then this is uh, Makeup Forever Reboot. I just got this a couple weeks ago, but I really like it. Um, Samuel and I are going to Target since I've had Jane. It needs to be a little bit closer. Um, we would used to go to out to dinner and then Target and then um, somewhere else, uh, usually five below so they can pick out a toy. But for now, since she's so little, we'll just go to Target and you can't... Um, eat at the Target Starbucks anymore, which is really sad, but, uh, so we'll just grab a snack in the car and he'll be happy with that. He wants to pick out, um, so the thing that he's going to pick out is a stylus for the iPad. Like, since they have their iPads at school now, um, he's going to pick that out and he added some of his own money to that, but that's totally something that I would have wanted as a kid. I go through foundations a lot and I return them um, because they're just so expensive and I like trying them out but it's probably the first one that I've actually kept. So for the spots on my face I'm going to go in with Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I did a uh, I placed a big order at Sephora probably a couple weeks ago because I wanted to see how um, it compared to the makeup that I already use and so I did one side of my face. I should have filmed that, but so I did one side of my face with the stuff that I already use and then one side of my face that the new products, but honestly, I didn't see much of a difference, but it was fun to do. I'm really, I like buying things and then returning them. Sephora probably hates me. So that foundation is one that I actually kept. So I use shade 25 on my face and then I use um, Maybelline Fit Me, the same one, but a little bit lighter. So I do it like right about there so it doesn't crease as much on my under eye. So then I kind of just work it up. Jane's asleep right now. I'm not ignoring her. but I am ignoring Abram. Then I'll go over my eyes a little bit just to even them out. So then I will set it with, kind of varies, but I really like the Maybelline um, Fit Me Loose Powder. So then I'll start from the outside and work my way in. Uh, that also is supposed to help with creasing. So I've been liking this, CC Your Skin, CC Plus, Your Skin But Better uh, powder. So I'll do that just to set it. I think I hear Jane. I was right, she's awake. You say hi? She's so cute. I always like to get ready when I take the boys on a date. Just, I think it makes them feel special. I always wear a red lip too. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm using um, ah! a Physician's Formula Bronzer. 
We went to the Y today. It's been so nice to um, go there with Abram and Jane and they really like it. Uh, actually, that's the lie. <laughs> Abram <laughs> complains and it's so slow walking from our car to the Y. Like 10 degree weather. It's really not ideal, but that's all right. Make it work. Um, and then I do some blush. This is probably my go-to blush. This is super expired. Huh. It's only six months. And this is like, this is what I've been using for probably seven years, but it's the Becca blush. Hasn't broken me out or anything yet. So I'm going to keep it. I'm using the Jaclyn Hill highlighting palette. Well, And then I like to use like a stippling, a large stippling brush and kind of just blend all of that together. Um, I also got Jaclyn's Loose Highlighting Powder, which is so nice all over the face. So I'll take the same powder brush and just kind of put it all over the face just for a healthy glow. Not sure if you can even tell a difference, but I bought it, so I have to use it. <laughs> I can't it. I do like it though. Brows, I've been using the um, L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Ash Brown. I, in the Sephora order, well, actually it was in Ulta, but I had purchased the Urban Decay Brow Blade and it was just okay. I'm returning it. Um, I think it took more work than I am willing to do. So I'm not too precise with my brows. Um, try to make them look as natural as I can. Good enough. Oh no, oh, oh no, good enough. And then I'll use the Anastasia brow gel to set them. All right. Um, that's pretty much it for my face and then my eyes. Um, you know what? I'm liking these e.l.f. palettes. Um, they're only $3 and it's just, they're just nice colors for all over the lid. I don't really do many creative looks anymore. So I'll take a smaller blending brush and go into the lightest brown and just kind of put that in my crease all over really. And I'll take that same brush with the same color and just kind of put it underneath. Are you getting fussy? You hungry? So then I'll take a larger fluffy brush and kind of just diffuse the edges. I'm gonna say there's probably no product on it, but honestly, I haven't washed my brushes in forever, so it probably is. All right, break them. Alright, happy baby. Um, so that's really all I do for eyeshadow. And for eyeliner, I've been doing, um, if I do eyeliner, I'll use the Maybelline um, eyeliner. I don't know what it's called. Eye Studio. Uh, but I'll use it in brown just to have a little bit softer of a look. I'll also use this um, for my waterline and my tight line. Shoot, I got out my contact. Oof, nasty. And then I'll curl my lashes. And actually I'll set my face first before I put mascara on. So I'll use the Morphe setting spray. And then actually I got a new mascara. I'm gonna try out one side 
with my normal mascara and then one side with the new one. So I'll do the new one on this side. On this side, it's the Sky High Maybelline Lash Sensational. Then on this side, I'll do the um, Essence Lash Princess. They're both from the drugstore. Mm. Yeah, that one's better. This is just one coat and then this one had two coats. It's still not as good. Nice. On the lower lash line, I've honestly probably had this exact same thing last time I did a tutorial five years ago. All right. That's pretty much it. Gotta do my lips. So one thing from the Sephora order that I did keep, uh, is the Rare Beauty um, Selena Gomez. Mm, colors Inspire. It's just nice and lightweight. Like I have the Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick, velvet, and it's still just too dry. So um, I actually did keep that, which like I said, I feel like it's rare that I actually keep something nowadays. Oh. You go potty? Okay, so I like to fill it in just so it, um, so the top part wears off and uh, some color will still show. So there's that. Um, almost done, almost done, huh? Isn't that nice? Okay. All right, so that's usually what I do. It'll probably be another four years when I do my next tutorial. Will we have two more kids by then? Are we gonna have two more kids by then? I don't think so. I don't think so. All right.